Thanks, all my boys, girls, and of course, gifted animals. How are you today? I'm doing well. I do appreciate you asking, as always. This is, of course, your humblest and spiciest, dearest of uncles, reporting live. With a hot dog review from Burger King. Apparently, uh, this is a big event. Um, yeah, probably one of the most classic American food items came to Burger King. Now, there's not many places that serve hot dogs, but Burger King decided to get on the train with Sonic and Dairy Queen and maybe a couple of others. I think Nathan's has a chain. I've never been to one. But anyway, regardless, oh, that flower is down. We have a flower down. Are we drinking anything right now? No, we're not. Um, just uh, have a lot to do right now, and it's about, hmm, don't have my watch on, so that was kind of dumb. But anyway, it's about 6.03 Eastern Standard Time. Just got a lot of stuff to do. Middle of the week. But it is what it is, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get to it. Well, first of all, what does it come to? I threw this. I was about to throw this on the ground. Came to 4.58. Hmm. Now, I got two. I got... They have a chili dog version, they have a, a regular hot dog version. The regular hot dog version, I don't know which one's which. Let's assume it's this one. Comes with, um, you know, relish, onion, mustard, and ketchup. Now, I didn't get relish because I don't particularly like relish. And then uh, the chili cheese one comes with, uh, you guessed it, chili and cheese. So, let's just go ahead and give them all a whirl. This one is the chili cheese one. And it uh, doesn't come with a fork, that's okay. Well, you know, we won't subtract it too much. There she is. Okay. Oh, man, it looks like uh, one that's uh, grilled on the flame broiler, whatever they have there. It looks like you cooked it in your backyard over a flame. Hmm. A little bit overdone, but just want to taste that chili. Chili tastes like it came from a can, and that's fine. Very, sh you know, shriveled, uh, very wrinkly wiener that we have here. Uh, that's okay, uh, but, uh, you know, generally I like my wieners a little bit undercooked opposed to overcooked. Uh, it gives it a more snappy texture, in my opinion. Uh, this one, a little overdone, but that's fine. Um, the chili is uh, average at best. Uh, it just tastes like it's from the can. And the cheese is melted. It's nice. Uh, you know, it's okay. It's, it's exactly what I expect. And now, we can taste a little bit more of the hot dog. We have the uh, regular one with uh, what I have is uh, ketchup, mustard, and onions, no relish. Now, typically, these do come with relish. And again, as I said, I think the, the regular one was $1.99, and then this one was, you know, like a little bit over. It was like $2.20, possibly a little bit more. Um, they didn't have an itemized receipt. That's also minus points in their book. Uh, just said total, which is, uh, you know, in the fours. So just some quick math up here. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and try this one out. It does look shrivelly as well. Um, very wrinkly wiener, but uh, it is what it is. Not many onions. They're not dispersed properly. It's not even, but uh, that's fine. Yeah, the problem with the overcooked hot dog, it makes it chewy. Now, the actual quality of the hot dog, I would say, is uh, pretty good. Um, it's nothing outstanding, but... Uh, 
it's pretty good. You know, it's a little bit above average. I just don't think they cooked it right. Um, I think they overcooked it. Um, in terms of the onion, I don't think it was dispersed properly, but I do think that it was a good quality cut of onion, if you will. Um, I would probably prefer the one, the regular one. Yeah, no, right there. Opposed to the chili cheese one. Chili cheese one just, eh, I mean, you've had one chili dog and you've had them all unless you, uh, you know, have gone to like a specialized place that makes uh, specialized you know, chili dogs. And I have been to one of those and it's just uh, night and day. So this is pretty standard from what you're going to get like at, you know, Dairy Queen, for instance. So the queen and the king have a very similar product here. Overall, decent product, decent hot dog, just overcooked, overcooked a lot, and that takes away from the experience, in my opinion. It's priced okay. Uh, chili dog's not that great. If they just tweak it just a little bit, I think they'll they'll get it right. So, what do you think I should rate this? Um, you know, well, I'll go ahead and tell you. I do believe that the, um, I guess I'll give an overall impression because these are very similar products. Um, but the chili does add, I think they do need differentiation. So we're going to go ahead and give the chili dog, you know, um, it, it's a worth a try rating. So we're going to go ahead and give that a 6.0122. Okay. And then as for the normal one, I think this has potential. I really do. If you're craving or Jones and a hot dog, go, go right ahead and hopefully they don't uh, shrivel it up like they did mine. Um, I think this one deserves a little bit around the mid-sixes, uh, as this is a little bit better than the other one, but still the, the main problems exist of it being overcooked, which takes away from everything else. So we're going to go ahead and rate this one a 6.4729. Yeah, I mean, Burger King, you got above a 6, so um, congrats. That means... Uh, I have recommended that uh, people try it uh, begrudgingly, but uh, go ahead and be, tr you know, go ahead and try it. Anyway, um, that's what your uncle says. Your humblest, dearest, spiciest of uncles. Anyway, having said all that, God bless. Hope to see you again. And as always, you take care. Till next time.